more. Michaela, would you come up and open up my lunchbox this morning? Gilbert, you can come and help her. Just open up this lunchbox. I think you'll open it there. And what's inside? Somebody check. What's inside? Hmm. Want to get it up? Let's get it up. All right. What do we think that is? Have you ever seen one before? You think you know what it is? I'll give you the first clue. It's going to be loud. Take off the top for me, Michaela. All right. All right. Gilbert, why don't you get that one out? Michaela, put this one over here and put the thing on the top of it. Whoa, Michaela, there's another one. You take that one out this time, Michaela. Gilbert, you put the top on. Let's put them in order of size, okay? All right, Michaela, your time for twist. I think there's more. I'm not sure, but it. Okay, Gilbert, you get that one out. Are there any more? There's another one. Let's put them in order of size. Oh, I like. Oh, the littlest one is moving. Can we put them all with your face this way? Okay. And we'll put you do it. All right. Do they all stand up? Okay. Now you can have a seat. Is that crazy? Was that fun? Did you ever do that before? Did you ever know there was one like that? Did you ever see one before? Maybe not. That might have been your first time. Well, there was a doll inside of a doll inside of a doll inside of a doll, right? Inside of a little statue. And what does that have to do with Jesus, I wonder? Is there anything we can think about about Jesus like that? Well, let me read the scripture that made me think about that when I thought about these dolls inside the dolls. First of all, it's from Ephesians chapter 4 and verse, verses 12, 13, right in there. First of all, Christ Jesus, when he went back to heaven, he gave some gifts to his church. Did you know that? He did. He gave some gifts. Well, one of them is our pastor. One of them was, let me see, um, he gave some apostles, like Apostle Paul, who used to travel, and then he wrote letters, even though he was in prison. He gave some prophets, like, you know, all the prophets that are in the Bible. And then he even had prophets in his New Testament church. He even gave us the spirit of prophecy, some of Ellen White's writing. All of Ellen White's writings were given to us for that. And they gave some to go and tell the good news. Those were called evangelists, because good news is evangelists. And he made some to care and to teach God's people, and we even have teachers. So those are some of the gifts that Jesus gave, okay? So, now here's the question. Why did he give us all those gifts? That's a question. So Paul, in his letter, he answers the question. He says, this is the answer. Christ gave these gifts the apostles, the prophets, the preachers, the teachers, and the evangelists to prepare God's holy people, that would be all the church people, and you, and you, to for the work of serving. Did you know when you picked up the offering today, you were serving the, God, the people of God? That was helping, wasn't it? Serving, helping, and to make the body of Christ stronger, so it's not weak, but stronger. And then this work must continue until we are all joined together in what we believe. So that if you're studying your Bible, and you're studying your Bible, and the big people are studying their Bible, we're all going to believe the same thing. Isn't it true? Because we've got one Bible. That's right. And in what we know about the Son of God. And what we know about the Son of God is Jesus, right? And so our goal is to become like a full-grown person to look just like Christ and have all his perfection. So some of us are like this little baby. Some of us are like this one. Some of us are growing like this way. Some of us are growing like this way. And if this was a picture of Jesus, then we would say until we come into the full size, like Jesus. Now, the Bible says in John 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, 
And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. And then it says the Word became flesh and dwelled among us. So who, be, who became a person and lived with us and walked on the water and healed the little children and fed the 5,000? Who was that? Yes. It was Jesus. So the Bible is the Word of God. And Jesus became flesh and walked with us. And do you think he knew all the Bible? Did Jesus know all the Bible? Yes, he did. He knew all of it, and it was in his heart so much that when he talked, everything he said was just perfect, like his father wanted him to say, his heavenly father wanted him to say, right? Well, guess what? When you study the Bible, you go from here to here to here to here to here, and you look more and more and more and more and more like Jesus. So the more of the Bible in your body, in your heart, in your mind, the more we act like Jesus. Is it true? Yes. And so much prayer, much power, much word, much more like Jesus. Amen. So let's have a prayer and ask Jesus to help us to grow up to the full measure of the stature of Christ. Amen. Just like it says in Ephesians 4, say 4, Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4, verse 13. Verse 13, thank you very much. Would either of you like to have a, a quiet prayer for us? Would you just like to say thank you, Jesus, with me? All right, let's bow our heads and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right, you may go back to your seats.